Yo, 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 welcome back to the MMA Short Show. As always, your boy, Steven Mustares. And you know, I usually don't hop on here too often to react to fight announcements and whatnot. I usually kind of wait till they come up and so I can talk about my favorite fights. But man, one of my favorite topics here for 2024 that I'm really looking forward to play out, and especially the UFC, man, is that lightweight division at 155. It feels like ever since I can remember, man, it's been the same five or six guys gatekeeping the division, man. You know, you have Habib before he retired, Charles. Charles Oliveira, Tony Ferguson was there in a little bit, Conor McGregor, even though he doesn't fight often anymore, somehow still in there. You got Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje, Michael Chandler, you know, you can even add uh, Benil Dariush in there. And those, it's been the same guys that have been holding it down for a while, and then Habib retires, and then you can pretty much just say Islam takes Habib's spot, even though they're two complete different fighters. Still, it just has that Dagestani just wrestler just in there for sure. And it's been the same guys forever now. And although Tony Ferguson is starting to fall off a little bit, you know, the one thing that we can't deny here is these guys are starting to get old these guys are starting to already have their title chances they've already had shots at, uh, at Habib they've already had shots at you know Charles they've already had shot at Islam so like it's about time that we start seeing the change of the guard here at 155 and we're finally about to get it you know finally yesterday especially right now if you guys have noticed the UFC is scrambling to make sure the first quarter of this you know this year is phenomenal and stacked especially with UFC 300 coming on and what I'm shocked about is, you know, with these Dustin Poirier's, these Charles Oliveira, these Justin Gaethje's, it seems like they're waiting for only a title shot or they're waiting for that Conor McGregor fight if you're Michael Chandler. And I, you can't blame these guys for as long as they've been around. But, you know, like I said, they've been doing it for so long now, you know, that we're not expecting them to fight these up-and-coming killers, which they should be doing. And the thing is, you know, we thought it was going to be Nate Diaz versus Dustin Poirier at UFC 300, and now we got Dustin Poirier about to fight Benoit Saint-Denis, and that is ridiculous. And then on uh, two seconds later, Dana White announces Charles Oliveira against Armin Sarukian. And this is where I'm getting excited. This is finally, you know, in a way, it's kind of sad a little bit because this could be, you know, the end. Not, I, wouldn't, I don't want to say they're going to retire, but this could be the time that finally Dustin Poirier finally Charles Oliveira, finally these guys like Justin Gaethje, these guys, these Michael Chandler's, Conor McGregor's, all these guys I've named. We've already seen what Benil Darius is starting to lose. You know, it's about time that they might start losing and they might not be the gatekeepers of the division anymore. And now we're finally going to start seeing this up and coming fresh, you know, if you're a fan of the sport, you want to see it evolve. You want to see these guys come in and be better and better. So it's so awesome that we finally get to see these Armin Sarukians, who has one of the closest fights with Islam, if you're not Alexander Volkanovsky. And that was years ago. So I know we want to see that. Benoit Saint-Denis, if you guys have watched that guy fight, he is a scary, scary man. That dude knocks anybody out. He's a soldier. He's got some crazy mindset. Dude's phenomenal. Jalen Turner's still coming up. This man's pretty much the like 155 John Jones if he can get his shit together. The length the reach the the all the advantages that man has for fighting at like 65 at 155 it's ridiculous Matisse Gamrot's been a killer forever. He's kind of proven himself for a while now. It's I think it's about time that he might start jumping up there. I think he's even fighting. I think he's fighting RDA soon, so that that should be a win. But you got Rafael Fiziev still in there. You know, it's about time that we start to see these this division, this most stacked division probably in the UFC, finally get a new change of the guard. And I cannot wait to see how it plays out. And you know, there's still a chance that it doesn't even have the change of the guard, but it's finally a chance for these guys to prove themselves. But it does feel a lot like a year or so ago when we watched Justin Gaethje fight Rafael Fazeev, where it was just like, man, he wanted to wait for the title fights. But, you know, with the way that Alexander Volkanovsky was playing out, with the, the way that, you know, Charles Oliveira was playing out, it just didn't seem like he was going to get a chance. So he finally took that shot. And we all were sitting here writing him off. And look, that man went out there and absolutely put an ass whooping on Rafael Fiziev. So, you know, I'm kind of expecting the same. There's no lock-in win for sure for Benoit Saint-Denis or Armin Sarukian against Oliveira and Poirier. You know, these guys are still killers out here. And it might be even a better way to prove that they're still there to fight for the belt. But regardless, we are going to see who's the best in this division. And it's about damn time that we're not seeing these guys just kind of wait on and fight each other. So I'm hyped for 155 this year. And I hope you guys are too. And let me know what you guys think and how this is going to play out. Because 155, ever since Islam went up and just took out Volkanovsky, it's a wide open race now at 155 to see who really got a chance to beat Islam. So... As always, your boy, Stephen Mousteris. And let me know what you guys think. And be ready. I got a big video coming out that I've been working on and just took a little break to get this one done. But be ready for the next day or two. But as always, your boy, Stephen Mousteris. Let's go.